Peace and Shalom. My name is my brother E. I'd like to welcome you back to another Daily Pulse of God's Ministry. I want to begin off, as I always begin off, with a prayer. Father, in the name of Yeshua HaMashiach, through the power of your Holy Spirit, I ask that under the sound of my voice, um, the people touch and agree. I pray for their deliverance right now, anything that they're going through in their minds, in their hearts, souls, and their spirits. I pray for the blood of your son, Yeshua HaMashiach, who died on the cross for that blood to deliver and free those of anything, heaviness, um, sickness, um, sadness, or depression, um, suicidal thoughts, emotions, and feeling hopelessness, and for the blood of your son, Yeshua, to wash them clean, to deliver them in freedom. Father, I pray that under the sound of my voice that these words uh, be strength, because the strength of the Lord is joy, and I pray for your joy to strengthen all those under the sound of my voice, to bring them joy, upliftment, encouragement, to bring them strength and faith in you and love for you, to continuously to have hope and faith and trust in your word, Father, and all your promises that are true, Father, and I pray that you release your promises under the sound of my voice into your children's life. I pray that they're able to have the strength and the faith to be in a position to accept your promises. I pray for your hedge of protection of the Holy Ghost of fire around and about all those in the sound of my voice, making it possible for the enemy to enter, come near, or around. Father, I pray for provision all those who need it. I pray for peace and love and happiness and shalom for all those who need it um, to cover their homes and their house, their family and children and loved ones under the sound of my voice. I pray for um, strength, strength in the families and loved ones and those who, um, under the sound of my voice, are taking care um, of family members and loved ones. I pray that they all engulfed and fused with strength, um, strength in your word, unity and peace and love and shalom. Father, I pray um, that through the sound of my voice, you drive out all chaos, confusion. In the name of Jesus, Yeshua, i ship. Um, you drive out all chaos, confusion, all the plans and plots in the enemy. I pray that you silence the enemy. Um, coming against your children in the sound of my voice. I pray for the blood of the Lamb, the blood of Christ, to silence the enemy. In Jesus Christ, your ship's name. Father, I pray for upliftment, um, upliftment in soul and spirit to strengthen people's faith and they protect their um, salvation. Uh, you said they are, uh, Hebrews 1 through 14, they are minister spirits sent forth to minister to those who are here to salvation. I pray that your minister spirits minister uh, protection for people's salvation, to protect their salvation, strengthen them in their salvation. Father, I give to you this prayer, knowing that this prayer is answered, that I have faith, trust, truth, and belief that this prayer is answered. And may you empower all those through your spirit, Father, to know that you exist, that to remind them who you are, Father. And may you bring everlasting glory to your kingdom. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. All right, so um, the Father has been ministering to me um, 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 all day today. Um, um, I'm actually going to go into the book of Micaiah, verse um, 2. I'm going to read real quick and I'm going to go into a little bit of the Father has been talking to me. It says, Woe to those who play iniquity, and to those who plot evil on their bed. At morning light, they carry it out, because it is in their power to do it. They convert fields and seize them, and houses and take them. They defraud people. They home, they rob them of their inheritance. Therefore, the Lord says, I'm planning disaster against this people from which you cannot save yourself. They will no longer walk proudly, for it will be a time of calamity. All right, so the Bible is ministering um, um, to all those um, in, in your life, um, those who've been planning, plotting against you, doing um, witchcraft or doing all types of evil things towards you. Um, our Heavenly Father Abba said they will uh, be met with calamity, destruction. Um, they, they will receive everything that they have done in full, in full measures. And you would see it, you would know it, and you would understand it. And this is the promise of the Lord um, over your life. And He wants you to have more faith um, in Him and knowing that the same way these people or receiving what they have done to you, the same thing that can happen to you if you decide to, to walk in their, in their shoes, if you decide to plan plot and evil in your heart against those, um, if you are involved in the occult or witchcraft or sorcery, if you're involved in things that are an abomination to the kingdom of the Heavenly Father, you will meet the same end. So, um, um, Abba always told me never to gloat over your enemies, even when they downfall, because that could be me, you know, and, and I always, um, I always um, allow him to 
allow me to celebrate in any way he wants me to celebrate. Well, I'm going to fall in, under that category where I feel like, oh, well, I can't, um, I can't um, stick my chest out because, um, you know, I don't want that to happen to me. But um, Abba says, be humble. Um, you will hear of tragedy and calamity happening to those who are doing witchcraft to you. Um, it, like, with, for instance, with me, Abba wants me to be transparent and, um, and honest. There are people, I told you, you guys, uh, who do witchcraft towards me. Uh, they, want, they want revenge. They want so much bad things to happen to me. I do not have any evil in my heart towards them. Um, I told Abba before, I said, Abba, I don't want to pray for these people no more. I done out, out prayed for their for their happiness, for their peace. <laughs> like, and Abba, my father hears me. Our father hears us when we come to the point. He sees the measure of our prayers, praying for peace for this person between your enemies, and they do not want to take it. Um, Abba always showed me, we all reap what we sow, whether good or bad. There comes a time where that comes down, the hammer comes down, and, and those who are guilty and those who have any hands and doing evil. They will reap what they sow. Abba says, it's always good for you to pray for your enemies because when that hammer comes down with the, 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 the divine laws, they see you praying for peace. They see you praying for um, healing. And that, that prayer, that thoughts, those actions are recorded. And when that judgment comes, this is why most people of God are favored. Um, men and women of God are favored because Yeshua taught us to pray for our enemies. And because the most smartest thing is because when that divine timing comes, um, men and women of God will not be um, involved in, in the calamity or the destruction that, that comes in the way of sinners, iniquities, and those who practice the occult and do witchcraft. All you will see um, on your part is... Um, you're praying for peace. You're praying for for this person to leave you alone or have peace with you, and they they do not accept it. That's that's between them and whatever they have to go through and to receive in their life. Um, but we all given a chance. We all given a chance to make peace with each other. We all given a chance to reconcile um, um, our differences before the hammer comes down. I tell people all the time, you know, it's important for us to know. Um, a walk with Christ. It's important to know who you are in Christ because me, I know who I am. There's so many parts to me, um, and, and I know this for a fact. Most people that I help and um, and will help are those people who are way like about to. Most this is my um, th this is my um, my track record um, of me knowing who I am and um, certain parts of me with Christ. Those before, uh, those hard cases where people um, are ready into sinning and about about to be on their way out, meaning death, they usually, I usually run into them, and um, or they run into me, and I'm able to give a word to them. Um, and nine times out of ten, people always tell me they thank they thank they thank me for that word because either they was about to make a decision of going down the path that was going to cause their life or cause great uh, destruction upon their lives, or cause their death. So there was plenty of people that I brought into my past where I was able to intervene with the word given to them, or to be able to help them to see things clearer. And they was able to change their path and change the, um, the, the was able to change that, that time uh, of death that was waiting for them. Um, Abba gave me the gift to see death on people I, I see death. I, I know when death is around. Abba has always given me that um, the, um, the the sensitivity, uh, the understanding of that. And um, even during my um, transformation when I was young and being in the streets and after I got way off track and um, there were, um, there, there, you know, I was, actually there were people who were looking to kill me, actually. Um, and, um, um, and Abba visited me uh, with the angels and, and told me I, I was going to die. He said, you're going to die. They, they're going to kill you in two days from now. Um, it was a, a epic moment that happened to me. I was in a very uh, bad situation with, um, with one of my children's mother at the time. Um, we got into a big argument. This is when I was in the world. And, and, um, 
And um, and I remember um, the this this I'm giving a little testimony. I remember the cops being called, um, and I had left, and I was in a park, um, and um, I just had enough, you know. Um, the angels came to visit me. The first the angel came to visit me, and the Abba spoke to me, and I thought I was going crazy for a minute. <laughs> Because I heard somebody talking behind me. I'm in a park where there's nobody around. I'm the only person in the park. And I felt this wind, this gush of wind come behind me. And some somebody was talking behind me. So I jumped back and looked. And um, there was nobody there. So I thought I was losing my mind for a minute. I said, well, maybe I'm just paranoid and whatever. But then the angel came and spoke to me. And, um, you know, and it told me it was the angel of God. And, and um and told me the things um, um, that were going to happen to me uh, within two days. And then um, Abba took over the conversation, and he told me in my heart, he told me, you know, um, I know that you're not scared of nobody, you're not scared of anything, you are proving yourself, um, but he said, you're going to die, and I know you don't care, but where you're going, you think you're going to a place of peace, and, and that's not it. He said, nope, you're not going to go where you think you're going. And you're gonna regret it um, for uh, throughout eternity. And not only that, your kids are gonna need you um, in the future. And um, at the time, I was really like, I didn't care. I was like, well, if I gotta die, I gotta die, whatever. You know, that's the type of mentality I was on. Um, but Abba um, told me, he said, okay, he said, you know, I know you've been you've been gangster, what you call gangster, right? Come be gangster for me. Come. Come do my work. Come do the work that you was born to do. You was purposed to do. This other path that you was in, it wasn't your fault. There were people who did things to you spiritually and, and physically to weigh you off of your path. And this is why I have mercy and grace upon you because I don't want you to die like this and then and for you to suffer throughout eternity. This is a conversation that I had with God, Abba, the Heavenly Father, a conversation I had. Um, in a park, um, and um, the conversation um, turned my heart. I thank, thank, <laughs> thank Jesus that that, that turned my heart. Um, but um, that's not it. The revelation that Abba gave me, he said, you know, after this conversation, he said, you're going to get locked up. You're going to go through this. You're going to go through that. But all the charges are going to be dropped. Everything, um, I want you to stay off the street. Get off. This is the turning point in my life. And um, and he asked me, do, do you trust me? I said, yes. Um, and it's my testimony. Everything that Abba told me was going to happen, happened. As soon as that conversation was finished and I felt his presence leave, that's when the cops came <laughs> and asked me who I was and I uh, you know, got arrested. And, and there was other things uh, that were going on and uh, people accused me of this and that, which I had no... Um, I wasn't responsible for that, but um, um, there was just things that were going on in my life that um, I was out of, going out. And this is not the first time. There's um, other stories that happened, but I'm just giving that testimony as far as like how deep um, my um, my turning point was. I was almost close to death and two days away from it. And that was a promise. And Abba showed me and he revealed these things to me. And I was able... Um, to um, the turn of my heart uh, because of the things he showed me I was going to be doing in the future because of that and he showed me that the things that people have done to take me off of my path and because I didn't have no one to be there for me to show me the right way this and that he has mercy and grace <coughs> excuse me upon me so um, just like those times um, where Abba has greeted me um, during my moments of transition um, I, I have been that same um, guy, that person in people's lives before they able to trans uh, transition, literally go out. And, you know, um, there's some people who who went out um, out of this world without being saved, um, and, um, and there's some who who negated from that path. You know, because I was blessed by Abba to speak the word from them, for them to cause them to um, get right, get their mind right and their spirit right, and, and for them to go down a different path. This is my testimony. This is, this is part of who I know who I am in Christ. And 
to me is a, a very serious, dangerous thing when um, doing this kind of work because you, you, you're accountable for what you say and you're accountable for that person's soul, you know. Um, one thing that Abba always showed me, um, he showed me a lot of times, even when I'm doing some of my testimonies when I'm recording, um, spiritually, he, he lets me see, even when I pass, when I pass over, he lets me see some stuff. He lets me see also those who come to God's ministry, those who I speak to. He lets me see when a lot of people pass over that those conversations and ceremonies and um, um, me talking to people are going to be brought up um, in, in judgment when, when we pass over, when we see Yeshua. All the things, all the, all the, all the talks that I have spoken, all the, the words that Abba placed in me to speak, those things are going to be brought up with you when you at this, um, at this, um, with Yeshua and being judged for um, whatever um, you know you have to be judged for at the time. Now that's scary. That's why um, I'm very cautious about what I say. I know how important um, um, these kind of um, talks are because if Abba is showing me uh, when you guys pass over, uh, even when I'm long and gone, that my words are going to be affecting a lot of people's decisions and a lot of people's lives. I'm accountable for that. We are accountable. I am accountable for that. And it's, it amazes me because it keeps me in check. It keeps me in check like, whoa, even when I'm gone, even when I'm, you know, in, in the heavenly realm with my father, when I'm gone, my words are still there influencing other people. And when they go to the judgment with Yeshua, my words are going to be brought up to them, and they're going to be seen, shown a moment when they were um, listening to my words or being influenced by my words, and if they took the advice or didn't, but these things are going to be brought up. Now, these things um, uh, are very scary when you think about um, how, how much accountable that we are um, for one another and making sure that um, we, are, we are held accountable for what we say and, um, and <clears throat> trying to save souls and make souls right for the kingdom, right? So I'm just being, I'm sorry, guys. I'm just going on as the Holy Spirit wants me to speak. But um, these these things, I always talk about salvation of the soul because a lot of people um, really think that it's over with after you die. This is why so much people do so much wickedness and evil because they say, hey, there's one life, right? Might as well do what I have to do and, and this is, all I learned, so let me be evil and wicked. But sad to say that once your soul leaves your body, that's not it. You have to, you, you, you will be judged, and um, people will be judged. Um, you, you know, you make your bed in hell, and, um, um, and and Abba will see it. You know, there's scriptures that talk about it. <laughs> the Abba will be looking at people in hell. You know, um, and. Um, and, and I seen that. I, I actually seen um, Abba show me what it's gonna be like um, uh, when people go to the hellfire and stuff like that. And I thought at, at one time that it wasn't as real as they say it was until Abba showed me. And then when I seen it, I was like, "Oh, all right, that makes me wanna even more stay uncommitted to this righteous path. This 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 hellfire thing is serious. It's real." And for those who are, are lost and, and, and don't even understand what the hellfire is, I mean, there's some people who are being um, in the hellfire while they're living. They're being judged in their spirit and their body while they're living. They have so much hell in their life from all the things they accumulated from being wicked and evil towards others. So their life is a living hell, and they wonder why their life is a living hell, because Abba has made their life a living hell. Now, not only that, and their lifetime, when they live in, their life is going to be a living hell. Their life is going to be a, a even more um, eternal living hell and eternal lake of fire. Now, <clears throat> a lot of people, I always, I always come across the hard cases. Those, I don't care. Well, we all going to hell. No, we all not going to hell. I've always told me to be careful. Those people who say we all going to hell. Those are the people who don't want to reconcile themselves back to the Almighty. Those are the people who don't want to repent. These are the people who live a false doctrine life and causes them to want to be in sin and continuously to live in sin. Not only that, to continuously to take other people with them in sin. But Abba always taught me also that those who are innocent, he will save. He will have mercy on them. 
So those even who know they go into the hellfire and they try to take other people, they won't be able to take them. They won't. They will be um, be given mercy because these people are are, are innocent um, and pure of heart. They have no wrong in their heart. They've been taught by the wrong people, or they they've been. Um, you know, people have mis misguided them purposely, or people have taken them off of their path, just like me. It was it was done to me, and just like Abba will have mercy, and Yeshua will have mercy on those who He has mercy on, on and He'll forgive those who He forgive, and He will bring wrath and destruction upon those who bring wrath and destruction. That is His word, and that is His will. So, um, I don't want to sound like I'm rambling on, but the Holy Spirit. Uh, Yeshua, the, the God of Israel, that they're doing this to any wickedness or evil that plans to plot, they're not doing it towards you. But only way people are going to see, and Abba always told me, <laughs> um, I'm like, I used to complain, Abba, you see this? Like, yeah. I was like, I was like, why are you allowing this to happen? He said, how are they going to know if I'm real? How are they going to know if I, if I really exist? Just because you're saying, um, um, you, you doesn't mean that people are going to believe. Just like Yeshua, he came to preach, right? Just because he was preaching, it didn't mean that Abba was real. He had to make some miracles happen. He had to show people, wow, there is a God. So that people be delivered, people be healed. So if your enemies don't come, against, um, don't come against you, whether they believe or don't, they believe in evil, whatever, how are they going to know your father is real? Huh? How are they going to know? And unless they are placed in a position to do wicked, evil things, so your father could show who he is, that he's in control of everything. He's in control of everything in creation. That even Satan, Lucifer, has to answer to him. Do you understand? So, Abba always taught me, if people are going to do things, I allow them to do it. I allow them to do it, and it may be for your growth, or you may learn something. And trust me, I have learned so much things um, from the witchcraft and evil people, the things that people have done, and I'm so grateful um, I've learned so much spiritual knowledge and wisdom. It's, 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 it's very humbling. And I, I actually got to see my father and everything that the enemy has done. I have seen my father's protection over me. I have seen people fall. I have, And these, these are people like who are really wicked and evil in their hearts. And they think they're going to get away with it and, and the, until that day comes. Or they think, um, and also another uh, type of people that I about tells me about is those people who says, well, if Jesus Yeshua is real, then um, he will have mercy upon me in what I'm doing. Those are the ones that suffer the most because those, they are way unconscious of what they're doing and they still choose to do evil. Um, a lot of people don't understand that Abba is not a dummy God. I tell them people, all, he's not stupid. He's not dumb. There's nothing hidden. There's nothing that you can do that's hidden that won't come to the light. Everything will come to the light. You all have to pay for what you do, whether good or bad. So you might as well do good. Might as well be with Yeshua. Might as well be righteous in your heart. <laughs> because when that judgment comes, guess what? You have to answer for what you have done. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, um, that's a, um, just something that the Holy Spirit wanted me to, to say. Also, um, I'm going to speak to the scripture that Abba has given me. Hebrews 13, verse 4. <coughs> um, I heard this the other day, and then... Um, and then I heard, um, I seen scripture this um, this morning, and I was it says, marriage is honorable in all and the bed, undefiled, but poor, mongering, and adultery thou will judge. So Hebrews 13, verse 4, marriage is honorable in all and the bed undefiled, but poor, mongering, and adultery thou will judge. So I don't know who it is before. Romans 14, verse 12. 
to knowing that we all have to give an account for what we have done um, and we will be accounted for. Repentance is the only way out. Um, repentance sometimes comes with just a price. Sometimes it comes with Abba saying that we need to come to God. We need to, we need to, um, we need to, we need to, um, or we need to do this to make peace. Um, you know, sometimes repentance comes with that. Sometimes Abba just needs to so repentance comes with many things depending on what Abba wants you to do. If, if you have done anything, comes down even though someone may have done something to you you want to make sure you in the clear trust me on I this is um, I have a testimony after testimony um first when um, I, I, I subjected myself to the feet of my father Yeshua and I asked for forgiveness and, and, and when people went through things um, I was clear I was I was like all right good um, no there was no effect um, towards me and I was um, I'm saved from whatever judgment that was going on. So, guys, to um, to make sure that um, you uh, make sure that your heart is clear. Um, I, I myself too. Sometimes um, I get weak uh, and I get uh, upset and frustrated um, at the evil and wickedness that people do. Um, but I know that um, after a while, Abba shows me that He allows what He allows for people to do. And they have they, they 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 have to know who he is, and and if they have to know who he is through death, um, through um, disasters, through witch, um, um, their own witchcraft going back to them, if they have to know who who he is through um, their downfall and their uh, everything in their life messing up, um, until they understand who the God of creation is, then so be it. Um, a lot of people don't understand, um, you know, we, we are uh, brothers and sisters of Christ. We hold the kingdom of God within us. If we accept Jesus as our Messiah, as our Lord and Savior, and we don't want nothing to do with sins and equities and church Christ, we're striving to be holy men and women of the Most High God. We are seated in the heavenly high places. Not only that, we carry judgment within us. We carry the judgment of the kingdom of God in us. That's why people don't want us around. This used to happen to me all the time. When people used to try to come around me um, because, just because, they used to go through so much because they had evil intentions in their heart. Things in their lives used to be messed up, go quick down, and um, all types of stuff used to happen to them. And they would look at me like if I was to blame or something like that. But it wasn't me. It was Abba showed me their intentions, their evil wickedness in their heart. Um, Abba showed me also, like, through my kids, like some of my kids, um, if um, people have tried to use my kids um, uh, because they say, well, he's a blessed man of God, so his kids uh, must be blessed too. So if I have a lot of kids, so y'all be blessed too. <laughs> I tell people all the time, Abba is not a dummy God. The same people who did that, Abba cursed them. You know, Abba does curse people. He did curse them. Um, 
and everybody who tries to use my kids as a as a way of um, receiving blessings, they be, instead of them thinking they're going to get a gift or blessings, these people like a curse. My Abba, the God of creation, <laughs> and then people get mad, and, and, and they they life starts to be in turmoil because the evil intentions that they had um, trying to. Um, um, especially when it comes to children who are innocent and pure, and they're trying to manipulate and control um, kids or try to use them um, for um, for their own personal gain. Um, Abba shows people who he is through that too. Um, so Abba always showed me these things, of, and I'm giving that testimony because um, through this, um, you may be, uh, you may have kids, you may have loved ones who may, um, because of you, you know, you, people know that you're blessed and. They try to get close to you, but they can't because they know they can't because things go wrong in their life because they're evil or they have sin in, so much sin or they have the wrong, um, the wrong, um, um, the wrong um, actions against you or whatever it is, and, and their life goes upside down. So they try to get things closer to you. Um, Abba said these people will be cursed. Uh, if they try to use your kids, or if they try to use your family members, anything that belongs to you. Because you are a child of the Most High God, Abba said that He will curse them, and they will be cursed—a curse that will pass down for generations. Thus says the Lord. So these are things that people don't understand that they're cursing their own family, they're cursing their own tr their, their, their own children, with messing with people, um, uh, children of the Most High God. And there, there's nothing that nobody could do to uplift that curse but Abba Himself. So people could go see witches and warlocks and so on. They could do all this other stuff and it, it would become a problem after problem for generations to generations to come and people would be cursed. So Abba wants you to know that you should have no worries. Don't worry about your children um, um, being around other people who try to curse your children or, or not curse your children, but try to use your children because of you being connected to Abba and thinking that they're going to be blessed. Um, these people are going to be cursed. And that's a promise, thus says the Lord. And I gave you a little bit of my testimony, and, and, and my testimony is still going. Uh, Abba, Abba, I, and I admit, I was in my own way uh, with a lot of things happening um, for people that I was supposed to have. I got in the way because of my heart. And Abba told me about my heart. He said, you got to move out of my way. If my job is to protect you, my job is to bless you, my job is for you to do your calling here. Those who are coming against you, then I have things set for those. I have things set for your enemies. Don't ever get in your way. Don't ever get in the way of your Heavenly Father who's protecting you from your enemies. You know, most I had to repent because I, I used to feel bad for people. But not no more. I don't feel bad that you, <laughs> it's their choice. Um, Yeshua made me feel bad because of the hellfire that I've seen people going to. And I've seen some family, friends, members, and people that I know in the hellfire. Abba showed me this in spiritual. And, um, and he told me, you know, pray for them, Yeshua. But he said, it's their free will. I don't, you're not responsible for their salvation. You're not responsible for their choices, decision they make. They're responsible for whatever happens. You, you have spoken the gospel, you have spoken the truth. If they reject it, then they receive the judgment. They re if they uh, receive it, then they receive salvation. But it's up to them. That's their choice. That's their problem. That's their salvation. Now, um, um, Abba doesn't want nobody to go to the hellfire, but people we not, you know, um, people have their own free will. If they choose to go, that's where they're going to go. So Yeshua always uh, showed me, he showed me, he showed me compassion um, by showing me the people who are going to be in the hellfire. And I have seen family members. <laughs> I have seen friends and people that I know. And, and that was a scary thing. And that was. <laughs> so, you know, um, I, I have done all I was supposed to do that Yeshua wanted me to do. Um, once he put the fear of the hellfire in me and he showed me what I went and I, I preached the gospel, I, I did what I was supposed to do. But then he told me to step step away. That's the the choice is there. Um, just like you see a pastor, minister, um, speaking in the church or speaking in the streets. You know, whoever hears, if, if it falls on deaf ears, it falls on deaf ears. But whoever falls on and they receive the gospel and choose to be saved, and God bless that soul. God bless that soul. But if not, 
Um, people die all the time without being saved. People be uh, tormented in the hellfire without, you know, there's a lot of things that go on. Um, you know, we have to be realistic that people pass um, without being saved. And that's it. Um, and it could be family members or loved ones. So it's not um, your... Um, it's not your responsibility for what people do and their free will um, towards um, what they do. Um, their free will is their free will. Only thing you can do is preach the gospel and preach it hard, and that's it. And Abba sees that, and he knows that. So I was in my way. Um, um, Abba um, protected me from my enemies or protected me because, you know, whatever. And then I got out the way. I said, okay, let me get out the way. I got out the way. I repented for Abba, and once I start getting out of the way, I start I seeing Abba's protection over me and everything in my life, and I no longer worry. I don't, and, and I tell Abba, I said, please, Abba, I don't want those whoever's doing evil to me. I don't want them coming to me. I don't, I don't want to help. I don't want to help them. I want to help those who want the salvation. I want those who, who's going to really change their lives and who want. Um, the, the deliverance and who wants the truth and who wants a better life and who wants to be closer to you. Those are the people I want to help. I don't want to help those who had the chance and they do away their chance. I don't, I don't want, I don't even want to, um, um, to reconcile. I, do, I mean, re not reconcile, but you know what I mean? Like there's no need for us to be friends if you're my enemy and hey, you, you reconcile, you, you ask for forgiveness. That's cool. And we move on. You go on with your life, I go on with my life. But I don't want to be the one to help people um, for what they have done to me. And I got that out of my heart. And I was, out, I was in my own way because I still have helped people, even when they did witchcraft, even when they did the same people who did it to me, I was helping them. They have came to me, I prayed for them, or whatever the situation is. But Abba said, now we're in a different time. Now you have to be able to... Um, it's not about being less compassionate. It's about being honest with your salvation and being honest about your walk with Yeshua. I have to pick up my cross and walk with my king, just like they have to pick up their cross and walk with Yeshua if they choose. If not, then they go where they need to go, and that's it. So everybody has that um, pivotal moment where they have to make a decision. Was I'm going to... Um, follow my king, um, Jesus Christ. I have somebody showing me the way. You don't want it? Hey, life goes on. Move on. And I ask about please, I don't want to waste my time with anybody. Don't let nobody waste their time with me. I don't, I don't you know, like, I don't want to deal with those type of people. So Abba is grateful. He's loving. He hears my voice. Um, he hears the, the, my prayers. So I'm, I'm grateful that I was able to get out of my way. Um, and for Abba protecting me and blessing me. Um, Sometimes we could be our own worst enemies and um, into situations. Um, so I about wanted me to express that um, um, to you guys. Um, it's going with the Holy Spirit is telling me to do. Um, but I'm going to end this. I'm going to do another um, sermon. If, excuse me, I about permits it. Um, I know this is going to help somebody. Um, I about was telling me to get this word out. And I know this is going to help somebody. Um, um, keep your focus on your salvation. Um, um, I thank y'all for the prayers and, and, and um, the uplifting encouragement for God's ministry. Um, uh, got a lot, a lot of good stuff coming up, um, and, I, and I ask that y'all guys continue to pray for the ministry. All right, my name is my, um, my brother Ian. Um, peace and shalom. Thank you for coming to another day um, talking about ministry. Peace.